Hello everyone, this is Minister LT, and I'm back for another day. Today's message is, it's not about you, it's about Jesus, and it's always about Jesus. And some of you out there today is thinking it's about you, but it's not. But when I preach this word right here, you will know who it's really about. But before I get started, I just want to take time out to give my Heavenly Father God thanks and praise and glory. I want to thank you for another beautiful and amazing day that you blessed me and all your children today. We want to thank you for the life and breath that you put inside our body. We want to thank you for our health. We want to thank you for our strength. We want to thank you for our vision. We want to thank you for our hearing. We want to thank you because you're still on the throne. You're still working everything out for every last one of us. You're still the pottery and we're still the clay. We want to say thank you, Jesus, because your love is so merciful towards us. For that reason right there, Jesus, we want to say thank you. We want to say thank you, Jesus, that you're still moving out mountains away from us. You're still working out every detail for us. We want to say thank you, how you're still on the throne, that you still have us in the palm of your hand. And we just want to say this thank you today, Jesus, because you know that you bless us more than enough. You give us life each and every day, Jesus. For that reason right there, we want to say thank you. We want to say thank you no matter what we go through. You still love us, and we're still your children until your eye. For that reason right there, we want to say thank you. We glorify you, and we worship your holy name each and every day. So I want to say thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I hope y'all have y'all Bibles open and ready to receive this word. We're reading from the book of John today. That's John 10, verses 30, 30 to 33. That's John chapter 10, verses 30 through 33 and if you're ready to receive this word today shout out amen because today we're about to let you know it's not about you it's about jesus and i'm about to begin i and the father are one again the jews picked up stones to stone him but jesus said to them i have shown you many great miracles from the father for which of these do you stone me we are not stoning you for you or any of these, replied the Jews, but for blasphemy, because you are a mere man, claim to be God. And the reason why I said it's not about you, and it's about Jesus, because even the Jews try to try to this wrong, and they couldn't even do it. And Jesus is standing right. He said, "I have shown you many great things from the from the Father." So even God still do what He do. Some people still don't trust who He is. And some of you think it's all about you, just like the Jews did. But I'm here today to tell you right now, it's not about you, it's about Jesus. It's always about Jesus, because no one can do what he can do. No one can perform miracles like him. Nobody, nobody can perform wonders like him. No one can, nobody can turn things around in a second like him. No one, nobody can create the heaven and earth in six days like him. No one can do what he can do because today is the day it's always about Jesus. It was about him 2,000 years ago and it's still about him today right now. You need to shout out his holy name. You need to glorify him. You need to shout out hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's always about you. It's always going to be remain to be about you. Right now, you need to give him thanks. Right now, you should give him praise. Right now, you should give him glory because right now, in each and every day of your life that he gives you a chance to live, with breath and sight and hearing a voice it's about Jesus hallelujah thank you glory to God that's who it's all about because nobody can do what he can do he reigns forever he's on the throne he's mighty his limit has no understanding he reigns forever he breaking shackles right now each and every day that's what it's always about Jesus always it's not about you. It's not about your job. It's not about your car. It's not about your house. It's not about your money. It's not about how many people that you have hanging around you. How many people that you have on Facebook, Twitter, or whatever is that social media stuff that's going on today. It's always about Jesus. And that right there, you should give him thank him. You need to praise him. You need to glorify him. Because at the end of the day, that's who it's about. Nobody can do what he can do. Nobody can calm storms like he can do. Nobody. Nobody can. He put breath inside our body. He put, give us strength. He give us our health. He is the doctor. He is the lawyer. He is the judge. That's why it's always about Jesus. He can turn things around for you in a second. Nobody can't do that like Jesus. Nobody. Nobody can do what he does. He is what he say he is and he will do what he say he will do because of that right there. It's always about Jesus. Come on now. 
That right there, you should be shouting out hallelujah. That right there, you should be glorifying his holy name. That right there, you should be moving around. That right there, you should be speaking in tongues right now. Because why? It's always about Jesus. It's never about you. It's always about Jesus. You need to praise him each and every day with all your heart, with all your mind, all your soul. You need to give him thanks for that. You need to give him praise. You need to glorify. You need to, you need to brag about Jesus because that's who it's about. It's not about your job. It's not about how much money you make a year or a month or a week. It's about Jesus and what he can do and what kind of miracles he do, what kind of wonders he do, what, hey, what kind of situation he done bought you out of. That's why it's about Jesus. When things weren't even going your way, when God turned around for you, who did that? Jesus. When you were sick on the bed and the doctor told you you didn't have but two months to live, who turned around and said you live for you live for eternity? Jesus. When nobody believed in you, Jesus believed in you. Who put that gift inside of you? Who put that purpose inside of you? Jesus. That's why it's all about Jesus. When you needed a job, who was there for you to provide for that job? When you had no money and God turned your bank account around and put seven, seven figures in there, it's about Jesus. That's who it's about. When a doctor told you you weren't going to have kids and he still blessed you with three or four kids, who was about? Jesus. That's what who was about. And it always be about Jesus. That's what it's about. It's not about you. It's about Jesus. It's a song called that too, but I'm just preaching it. That's what I'm doing. You can hear the song. You can download it. But right now, you can download this message right here. It's not about you. It's always about Jesus. That's what it's about. Now, give him praise. Give him glory. I dare you right now. Tell somebody right now. It's not about me. It's about Jesus. LT tell everybody that each and every day. It's not about me. It's about Jesus. It's not about my wife. It's not about my job. It's not about my kids. It's about Jesus. That's what it's about. Now some of y'all need to get y'all priorities together and tell yourself, it's not about you. It's about Jesus. Now, before I end this message, tell yourself today, I double dare you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell yourself, it's not about me, it's not about my wife, it's not about my mom, my dad, my grandma, my sons, my, my daughters, my brothers, my sister, whoever it is, it's about Jesus. And this name is spelled J-E-S-U-S, Jesus. That's who it's about. I'm just going to end that show, that broadcast. If you received this word today, shout out amen. Now, I never like to leave my show or broadcast without leaving with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? It goes, Lord Jesus, I ask of you. They come into my life. I'm asking you to take over, guide me, direct me, use me so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, if you pray that simple little prayer, I believe that God is working everything out in your path right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, my YouTube channel is Withers. That's capital W-I-T-H-E-R-S dot L-T. And remember, y'all, it's not about you. It's about Jesus. Just keep telling yourself. Tell somebody who you at work right now. If you got the gym right now, if you got the grocery store. It's not about you. It's about Jesus. That's who it's about. That's who it's always going to be about. It's about Jesus. So just keep telling yourself. Keep reminding yourself. And if, if you even see somebody that's down and out, or you feel like they're going through a rough time, just tell them. It's not about you. The situation's not going to last long. It's about Jesus. And if you want to leave a comment, leave it on my YouTube channel. It's about Jesus, y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Always listen to God's word. God is good, y'all. And all the time, God is good. It's about Jesus. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Amen.